Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use block class module in Drupal instance. Okay, for that first we have to install the block class module for that composer. I'm using composer to install the block class module. It's composer require Drupal slash block underscore class. So now the module is installed. So once the module is downloaded, we have to move to the extend page and enable the module. So it's block underscore class. So I'm going to enable this module. So what, what is this module is doing is that it is providing an option to add class in your block layout blocks, okay? So, uh, we can add class, we can add ID, we can add attributes, okay? So uh, this way we can do theming uh, for your front end, okay? This is be easy for you to do the front end theming. So once you enable the module, it has a configuration under the content authoring block class. So uh, here, enable autocomplete, enable special characters. So what is enable autocomplete is that so when you add some particular uh, classes already in some blocks, so when you add new, uh, when you click on a configuration for new block, so it will be autocomplete. So it will provide the autocomplete for the existing class, which you already manually added in your block settings. Okay. So I will showcase how it is working and it's enable special characters means you can add special characters. So let's enable special characters. And uppercase and lowercase means, so whatever case you are giving, it will be accepted for upper and lowercase. If you give up lowercase, when you type up lowercase, the text will be converted to upper, that's vice versa for the lowercase, okay? And next one is classes. So class settings is that you can add a n number of classes to your block. So currently there is a limit for 10. You can add, you can, uh, Low the in limit or you can increase it okay and this is a max length and wait for the text field and next one is attributes so attributes means normally for html tags we have a lot of attributes like right like a class or id or styling or whatever so as like that you can add your own new attributes so that is a limitation for that too it's 10 and by default you can change it if you want so this is the id so by default, block layout will provide some ID for us. So when you want to replace, you can enable those option to replace an ID, okay? So for uh, ID, max length is 255 and wait for the ID. And next one is block class list. So uh, whatever the blocks using the block class model, so those, those uh, blocks will be listed in this tab. So item per page configuration is for that uh, block list page, okay? And this is the advanced. So uh, here we enable the special characters, right? So when you want to display the special character in front end, like uh, when you want to, uh, when the user add dollar, and if you want to replace the dollar, like uh, underscore, you can give those type of configurations here. So let's add dollar underscore. So this is the value which is in the class and this is the replacement and pipe is a dealing deck for that, okay? And I'm going to submit it. So once you save, you have to go to your... So before that, let's see how the autocomplete is working. For that, you have to add some uh, class for all the blocks so that it will uh, it will be having some clause in, class in hand. So when you type something, it will uh, come in the autocomplete. So for that, if there is a tab called block operation. So here we have a lot of operation for the block class. So let's do that for block insert class. So I'm going to insert class called block class. Okay. So I'm going to run. So this class will be added to all the blocks, whatever available in the block layout page. Okay. I'm going to confirm. So now we saved it. So let's go to block layout page. And I'm going to assign the data in the sidebar. So it's already, I, we have a sidebar lorem ipsum. So I'm going to configure the same. So I'm going to come down. So 
you can see the block class is added, which we, which you added by using the bulk operation, right? And let me add one more class. So when I type B, so you can see the block class is coming, right? So you this is how the autocomplete feature is working. Okay. Autocomplete feature. And next one is special character. So special character A, B, C, D, dollar, X, Y, Z. Okay. So let's see how it is going to print. It should be filter this dollar with the underscore. Okay. And ID. So what ID you want to give? It's block class session. Okay. ID. And attributes when you want to give any particular attributes you can give. I'm going to give session as block class. Okay. And you can add n number of attributes. I'm going to give only one attribute here and I'm going to save the block. So now the block is saved successfully. Let's move to the home page and check how it is printing in the print. Okay. So let's go to the home page. So inspect. Mm -hmm. So inspected. So here you can see the ID block class session which we added and the attribute session and block class which is also added. And here the block class class which is added by using our bulk operation which we see in the first time. And next one is ABCD underscore XYZ and dollar is replaced with the underscore. Okay. So this is how the block class module is uh, working. And these are the feature the block, block class module has. Okay, and next tab is a block list. Okay, block list contain all the blocks, whatever having the block class features. Okay, what are the blocks using this block class feature? Those blocks will be listed out here. Okay, and next one is block operation. Here you can do a um, lot of bulk operation with the blocks. Okay, so you can add insert class or insert attributes, convert all attributes to uppercase or lowercase or, or whatever. So all these are the uh, operations which is coming from coming from the block class model. So let me show you the uppercase how it is working. So for that, let me change this to uppercase. So I'm going to save it. So let's edit the sidebar lower in Epsom. Okay. So I'm going to add one more class here to showcase the uppercase feature. So which means when you uh, type Q, so see, the Q is converted to caps. So this is how the uppercase. So in front and also, the uh, content will be displayed in the uppercase, okay? So I'm going to refresh it here. So you can see the party which we added and also the remaining class that is also converted as a uppercase, okay? This is how the uppercase feature is working, okay? And block list contain all the blocks and block bulk operation has all the bulk operation and uh, help this is the help page for your block class model so how to use this model you can uh, find documentation here and, uh, and the next next and final one is that configuration so we successfully configured the block class model in your local instance so when you want to move your block class module from development to stage or UAT or cloud environment, you have to move your YML file, right? So let me show you how many YMLs will be generated for this block class module, okay? Configuration, export, development, configuration, synchronization, export page. So here, single item. So simple configuration. So when you enable the module, the module, what are the module enabled in your instance? All the module list will be available in this code dot extension. So here you can see block underscore class. Block underscore class. Okay. So these zero and all represents the weight of the modules. Okay. So uh, what the module weight has, those will be represented here. Okay. And um, next is we have to move the block class configuration, right? So this is what block class configuration. So whatever the settings you provided here, those will be converted in this YML file. This is a block class dot settings dot YML. You have to move this YML to import all your configuration from this environment to that environment. That's it about the block configuration, block class configurations. And um, 
that's it thank you hope everyone likes it uh, if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye